Welcome to Fair Game, I'm Christine Leahy. My guest today went from being a fan of the WWE to being the first woman in WWE history to win the Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and Women's Tag Team Championship. Bailey, I Thank see you, you counting yes, all the so championships. Many. Oh, just kidding. Um, that's actually the coolest belt I think I've ever seen, and I've seen I a know. few. Because it has my name on it, right? Oh, absolutely. Right, yeah. No, I, I just think that's like the prettiest it belt. really is is that okay to say that it's it pretty? really is really pretty it's it just seems i don't know how to i don't know it's perfect it's, it's perfect it's the white that's all around it it really highlights the red and the gold and my nameplate you know yeah do you <laughs> do you travel with us yes so like you get on the airplane and you're you got it over your shoulder no or no, it has no. A I, case? yeah it's in my carry-on my suitcase that okay would be, but i do have to take it out for a tsa oh. because they if i screen it through and i try to get away with not being seen with this big old thing. <laughs> um, they stop us and then make a big scene and they have to check and they're like, what's this? And What yeah. do they, do they know? Um, some people do, but some people are just like, oh, that's cool. Or they think it's a toy. A toy? Yeah. Okay. But I normally take it out and put it in its separate thing so that there's no hassle and I just put it upside down or else it draws a bunch of attention and I don't like it. You've been a WWE fan for a very, very long time. Yes. Like not even just a casual fan, there are photos proving how big of a fan you were. Yeah. Do you even now have some kind of moment where you're like, I can't believe I did that or went to the lengths that you did to get these photos? Yes, all the time. I, I, I thought about that last night. I was on a show with uh, Matt Hardy and he was, the Hardy Boys and Lita were my favorites growing up. As a teenager, I was, their pictures were all over my walls. But there was one time um, the Hardy Boys and Lita, they were tag team champions and the women's champion. They had an autograph signing at Eastridge Mall in San Jose and I couldn't afford the tickets. So I literally just went and stood at, um, they have like a little awning over or whatever. You go up the elevator and you could just stand there. It's like a walkway. Okay. But I just stood there and stared at them for like three hours. Oh my but gosh. But I never met them. <laughs> I just stared and I thought that was so weird. Now when I think back at it, now I'm on the show with Matt Hardy, it's just, there's a lot of stories like that. I was I went through all all loops and where did everything. that come from? Being such a big fan. Um, I don't know. I started watching it when I was uh, just a kid. I I passed by my dad and my brother would watch it. Passed by the living room, running by, and I saw Macho Man, who is <laughs> just you know if anybody knows the Macho Man, Randy Savage, you see his colors and the way he dresses. He has tassels. He just has so much. Uh, machismo and something just stuck out the TV and I just fell in love with it um, but I don't know what it, I think it was a combination of everything that, that, that WWE is all about and then once I found the Hardy Boys that was really when I was just man they dressed so cool and they did cool moves and Lita was such a tomboy but she was in with all the girls and the guys and doing everything as just that was it for me. Did you ever dress as a WWE superstar for Halloween? Not for Halloween, no. no. I kind of dress like them on my daily life. I would wear the chokers like them. Oh, the wow. The black chokers and the baggy pants. Uh, wow. Those were in style, yeah. Hey, they're coming back. Are they? I, I think so. Because I'll start wearing them again. Please do. Okay. They're comfortable. I will. I know. I will, so much I'll room. help you bring them back. Thank you. Let's do it. Next show, we'll both have them on. I, okay. I absolutely will do that. <laughs> when did you decide that you wanted to be more than just a fan and you actually thought I might make a career out of this? I don't know if there's like an actual moment, but um, I think, I know Lita had a big part to do with that. Um, Lita Ivory, Victoria, Trish Stratus, um, Lita and Trish actually had such a crazy storyline and um, great chemistry in the ring where you, f you just felt all the emotion. And I think once I realized that nothing else in my life or in the world or at school or I played basketball, but basketball didn't even make me feel the way that WWE and wrestling did. So mm -hmm. that was like just a feeling I couldn't fight. And I was like, okay, how can I be around these people and this thing more? I have to do it myself. <laughs> so um, then I just realized, all right, this is something that's it's just, I'm never going to grow out of it, which I think my mom was hoping I would. That you would? Yes. Is yeah. she fully on board now? Oh, yeah. She's, okay. Uh, obsessed. Oh, good. When I was in NXT, she went to all my championship matches, like flew to Florida and to Brooklyn and went to all the championship matches. And um, she's a big supporter. My dad's always been, he always knew I was going to do it. Like he, he was always there and just said, you know, I, he believed in me. And my mom was just like, 
okay, you can do anything you want. Are you sure <laughs> that's it? <laughs> but now they're both like, like crazy, crazy for it. When you're in locker rooms now, is there any time that you run into someone that you grew up idolizing and you're like, hey, we actually met before? Yeah, um, well, who is it? I want to say, well, Kurt Angle, mm -hmm. um, Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton. There's so many. Um, those, those three really stand out, and John Cena. There was one day where I went to a Popeye's chicken in Oakland, California to okay. meet Rey Mysterio. And in the same day- Because he was doing an appearance at Popeye's? Yes, isn't that okay. crazy? They I mean, used hey. to do all these weird places. Um, and on the same day, drove to San Francisco to a, uh, what do you call it? Like an optometry place, optometrist. He or, was doing an event in an optometrist? No, John Cena was. So I went and met Rey Mysterio in Oakland, oh my and two gosh. hours later or whatever, <laughs> drove to San Francisco and met John Cena in the same day. And I did that stuff all the time. Did you tell John Cena about this uh, when you met him again? I think he's heard about, I think he's heard a story. <laughs> he knows that I've met, I met him twice when I was a kid. And um, I met him once in a Walmart when he came out with his album. Oh, wow. His cousin. And wow. That was, yeah. So then when you're, everybody. when you're on these televised matches, do you ever have one of them come to you and say, hey, congrats, you finally made it? Kind of, yeah. yeah. I had um, Jeff Hardy, we were at uh, the WrestleMania, and he was uh, congratulating Sasha and I on being the tag team champions. And I just couldn't believe that my one, like on half of my favorite tag team was congratulating me for being a tag team champion and saying his daughter wanted to meet us because Aww. his daughter loves us. I just can't, I can't wrap my head around things like that. It's just beautiful. Now you are a huge fan favorite, WWE superstar. Is there anything now that a fan has come up to you and said or done that kind of surprises you or makes you think, wow, like the roles have reversed here? Yeah, there's, um, I mean, there's kids all the time that are dressed up like us and wear our t-shirts, which just blows my mind. Um, I think what happens the most in autograph signings or when I get to say hi to fans real quick before shows is um, I had an NXT match with Sasha Banks in Brooklyn. It was when I won the NXT women's title. And that match was just that match in that night and everything was really magical. And there's just so much uh, surrounding it that really made it a memorable night. And a lot of people come up to me and say, whether it's a teenager and she said, that's the reason I started training. That's the reason I started watching wrestling or that's the reason I want to be a wrestler. Or there's men saying, that's the match my girlfriend started watching wrestling with me or that's the match <laughs> that you know my daughter started watching. So I think that's cool when it brings people together or it helps people realize their dreams. But that's the one match that people always kind of link us to and is the reason for things. So that's probably, uh, I don't know, that's it. I'll keep that forever. Why was it so important for you that your in-ring name be gender neutral? Um, I, honestly, for me, uh, I was such a tomboy growing up. I think that's really where it came from. And uh, I just, I don't know. I, I never see uh, my friends. I had so many guy friends, so many girlfriends, but I never seen, you know, oh, I, I want to hang out with girls today. I don't know how to explain it well, yeah. but it was like, I never really saw a gender to a difference or anything like that. It was just, we were always one big thing and I was such a tomboy, but accepted by both, you know, I'd play sports with the boys, but then I'd have sleepovers with my girlfriends mm -hmm. or like, you know, everything we, it was just, uh, so when I came around to trying to pick a name, I just wanted to pick something that little boys can be like, oh, that's my name. Or little <laughs> girls can be like, oh, that's my name, or whatever it was. And um, that was really where it first came from. And then I specifically had it changed to B-A-Y because I'm from the Bay Area. Oh. So every Bailey with a B-A-I, I'm sorry. But I like still, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a little personal. I think re wrestling fans always have like their holy <laughs> moment. Yeah. Do you have one for you as a fan or as a superstar? Hmm. All my memories from those type of things are like table matches or ladder matches that from watching as a fan. I think I may have just had mine when uh, uh, Money in the Bank, when I won the Money in the Bank uh, ladder match, mm -hmm. which was insane for me to be in a ladder match. And then to cash in the contract and win this SmackDown Women's yes. Championship. For me, I would say that's my moment. But Your holy uh, moment. Yeah. That is a holy belt. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Coming up more with WWE superstar Bailey.